How do I help someone who's grieving? Cook them some food and bring it over. Don't ask, just do it. If there are other responsibilities in their life that you can easily help with it for them, clearing the path so that they can focus on dealing with their grief will be the best support you can provide. In the immediate aftermath there will be loads of people wanting to help try to make sure you can help after the initial mourning period is over, when the reality of grief really sets in. Don't try to say anything helpful there is nothing you can say that will ease their pain. Offer an ear to listen. You don't need to have had the same experience to be a present and compassionate friend. Simply being there when they mourn, deal with fear, pain, confusion is huge. Acknowledging their grief without them feeling like they have to get over it to be around you is huge. Doing whatever you can to make practical matters easier for them is huge. Letting them know they are loved, and you aren't going to abandon them because they are hurting and their life is messy and painful, is huge. Many people back away when a friend is in trouble because they are afraid of doing the wrong thing, or because mess and grief scares them. Being present is huge. One of the best grief cards I got after our son died simply said, I've had this card for weeks. Sometimes there are no words. Love, I had a friend who sent meals every few weeks for three months. It was so appreciated. My husband hired me a housekeeper and she was amazing. If it's food, make sure it can be frozen. One neighbor dropped toilet paper and paper towels off on our porch as we had a houseful. My aunts put their money together and bought a name plaque to hang his name in the local equality center. Those are the things I remember the most eight years later. If you have a conversation with that person, just listen. Let them talk and if there is a bit of silence, don't feel the need to fill it immediately. Ask open questions about the person they are mourning, if you can. Be there, listening, attentive. Avoid cliches and platitudes like at least they are in a better place now or y'all yeah, get over it or stuff like that. Try not to be annoying. Also, just be there. When my nephew died, I dropped everything and just spent as much time just being there for my sister. Make time just to listen to your friend. You can't fix anything, so just listen. Bring over a tea or coffee and just sit. Ask them questions about a better time with that person, fun or special moments. And if you had thoughts of flowers, maybe a live plant instead sorry for their loss, condolences to your friend and family, and you're a terrific friend. Everybody will be saying sorry for your loss, let me know if there's anything I can do and variations of that, immediately after the loss. I recently lost a loved one, be there if they need it, but also in the coming weeks and months just follow up with them. A random message saying something like hey, just thinking about you, let me know if you're up for coffee? Or something like that. Obviously don't ask them are you okay, but let them know you were thinking about them. Grief is incredibly isolating, and when not a single friend or family member checks in with you for months afterwards, it's even more lonely. This was a pretty good spot to ask it in. My dad took his life about 10 years ago, so I lived through something like this. Here's an important thing to remember. Don't forget about them, and I don't mean that to be shitty, the vast majority of people send their condolences in one big wave and that's wonderful. But the help would be nice two months in compared to the first 72 hours when everyone else is flooding them. I just try to be present, let them know I'm there whenever they are ready to process things, and ill listen. And more importantly, keep that consistent. Don't let that fade after a week. Most people don't move on from grief instantly. It took me about six years to fully face the death of my dad and begin to take steps to heal. Everyone grieves at their own pace, it's nice to know that there is someone still willing to listen and help when they need it. I don't have the agency to visit her and help out in any substantial way, otherwise I'd do bigger things like cleaning and helping her to take care of herself when everything feels too heavy. You just can't help the person who is grieving. Just let them know you are thinking of them and are sorry for their loss, 